Hello everyone, welcome to my first solo Let's Play. Uh, this one is for Farm Sim. It's in Breitheim. I'll put the links in the description of the video. Um, Nor the Warrior suggested this map when I was looking for one to do uh, using Forest, the uh, new Forest mod. So this will be a Let's Play showing it. So here's what the map looks like. I'll show you a bit about the map first. Uh, it's it's all in German, so there's very little I know without um, using a, a translator. So I went, most of these fields are owned by you when you first start it. I went and I uh, edited the the uh, career save file and basically I only kept one field, and that's field number 11 over here. Your farm is right here. So I kept the one field, got rid of the rest. Um, I may buy them at a late, well I'm sure I will buy some of them uh, at a later stage, but for now I want to start small and start with just a bit of equipment and get going and uh, I want in this episode I want to be harvesting trees so you're gonna see that in this episode yay if you're as excited about for, uh, the forestry mod as I am then you're gonna be happy if you saw the forest mod and said eh, well it's about forestry it's got nothing to do with farming well then this series there will be still you know some farming but it's not gonna be all farming there'll be lots of forestry stuff too Okay, so the first thing to show you is the equipment I've chosen. Now, a lot of it you've probably seen before on other Let's Plays that I've been in. Uh, the reason for that is some of them I went, like the Class Dominator. Uh, I got that one from Kara, he, and he or UC had edited it and uh, reduced the sound. But I did use that in Season 1 with Fad. So some of them I found myself, some of them I have um, have been located by others. And I want to show some of the DLC that you purchase from Giants. So I've got uh, an Ursus tractor over there, and there's a a uh, cedar as well. Some of the other stuff. Just I was uh, it it took a while before I decided to buy the DLC, but when I did, I was glad I did. There's some really good equipment in there. So what I will do first is we'll go to the purchase screen. You can see what I own, and then you'll have some idea of where we are for equipment. I bought the Wiedemann with, uh, there's a fork, or is it right here, the wood claw. I bought that and put it at the sawmill so I can unload logs from the, the log trailer and put them at the sawmill. It, it's too slow to run on the highway, so I'm not going to use it for harvesting trees and then driving the, the logs over to the sawmill. Uh, I got this Marshall Tipper, that's part of the DLC. That's a really nice tipper, I'll show you that eventually. And here's a tanker I haven't used yet, but again, the Marshall Pack. This little tractor, it looks a little bit funny. The front end, uh, Kara pointed out to me and I noticed myself, was that it the front end looks kind of funny. It's big. And I don't know if that's intentional or if the real machine looks like that or what, but it's a nice little tractor. It fits on the road here well. And uh, I use it for the uh, the chainsaw and stump grinder. Here's this is from one of the other DLCs. I forget what it's called, but this is the uh, the planter or the cedar, and it also cultivates and the seedling pallet for planting trees, which we'll be doing shortly. Uh, here's the toolbox of the chainsaw, where you can refuel it as well. This goes on the front of a front loader, so I bought a Ford Forces uh, front loader and I put this on it. So that's what I use to haul the logs to market. Then if for whatever reason a log falls off the trailer or whatever I can I can still you know deal with it on the road without having to go back and get something I bought this and put it on on this so it looks pretty cool you'll see it here in a minute and here's the trailer stump grinder there's a the class dominator 85 oh, the kid of course I love using this thing I've got the fort shirt installed I'll eventually move up to it. A lot of this equipment, I'm starting out with it, but I will be advancing to bigger equipment as long as it can still fit on the roads here. And of course my truck that I like. Oh, I guess I'll show you what I have installed here. So here's, the, see this tractor pack, that's a free DLC. Here's the Ford Forces and the Ford Versions pack. There's the forward front loader. 
I see I've got the portrait uh, cutter. Now this one will hold wood chips and has a proper texture for it. I, I got this from I think Mod Hoster. I'll stick the link in the description. But I haven't purchased one yet because I haven't purchased a sawmill yet. The parameter um, rakes here. Not rakes, um, cultivators. All those are from the small farms pack. Small farms or classics, I can't remember which it was. I think it's the classics, I don't think I put the small farms one on here. And there's the Fort Trip mower. Yeah, this drop bed trailer, I didn't even recall putting that in there, somehow I put it in. But anyway, so here we go, this is all the forestry stuff. If you haven't seen that yet, then I'll go through it. Uh, I've shown you some of it. This is for skidding logs behind you. It goes on the three-point hitch on the back of the tractor. Grabs on the logs and you can pull the whole tree behind you even. Um, here's a bigger tipper or trailer, log trailer. This one has a hook on it. Um, here's another bigger trailer. I went with this one. It's the cheapest and it's nice and small. Dolly wheels so I can get around the trees. This is the uh, the wood chipper. And as you can see, 230000 It's a big investment and I will get to it. But I want to work my way there instead of showing you here's all the end game stuff and I'm done and it's episode, episode 2 and I have everything. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to work up to it. Same with this thing. This is a really great machine, so we'll, we'll have a look at that later. Alright, placeable mods. Uh, I haven't used these yet. I just I just popped them down there on uh, on another game, but I haven't actually loaded anything in there, so I'll get to that. I'll probably do that this game, or this episode. The wood chip storage we won't be using yet, but there are two already on the map. The bioheat plant I have not found yet. It's around somewhere. I'll have to find that. And there's one sawmill on the other side of town, so I have to haul the logs to it. So I thought that would be a neat way to start. Eventually we'll buy one, but um, for now I want to you know, go through the whole... I'm just starting out and building up to it. So let's go over and we'll um, plant some trees and have a look around. Yeah, 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 I'm impatient. So what I'm going to do here is grab the planter and some seedlings and we'll go over and plant those. On field 11, it did not have a crop on it, so I didn't harvest it. And what I did was... Um, grabbed my cultivator and did a bit of cultivating on it. So, as you can see, you press R to load your saplings. And then B is in Bob to, uh, to start planting. Just like activating anything else, a cedar. And that animation is pretty neat, you'll see in a second. Now, I've got a couple ideas for this series. For instance, the trees the trees take a while to load. I, I did install a, a mod that allows me to go at 12,000 speed instead of 12, 120. So I can grow the trees pretty quickly. But um, I'm thinking what I may end up doing for some of it, if it gets kind of tedious, like loading logs and that sort of thing. I don't know if you want to watch all that in real time. So I may just speed it up and then narrate kind of over it after it's been recorded. So let me know what you think of that. So when I'm planting these trees, I have to look at where I'm going to fall them. Now I, I did do a, a mirror of this on single player, just uh, testing it. And uh, I, I went out a ways further to my right because I didn't want trees to fall on the fence. But I don't think that's necessary. Uh, I, I've used the chainsaw enough. I think I can fall the trees where I want them to go. <laughs> Famous last words, right? Anyway, so we'll... Um, I want to leave a little room here by the road for working, so I'm going to go up a little bit. Drop down the deck. And start it up. So what we're doing is churning up the ground and planting trees as we go.
How you doing back there, Zachary? Don't fall in. So we start with 17 trees. Now I think what I'll do, because they take several days for them to uh, ripen, I guess you call them, or call it. What I'll do is I'll each morning I'll go out and plant some more. That way we'll always have trees to harvest. All right, so I stopped them because I want to put in a second row. We uh, of 17 trees, I planted nine. So now I'm going to plant the other eight. I'm going to plant them pretty close. I just need enough room to be able to get a vehicle between, I think. This is a work in progress. Hopefully uh, it'll work out, but if it doesn't, well, that's how you learn, right? There we go. If we go again for row number two. Now, I have to do some cultivating. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room for several days worth of trees here. They also they don't uh, they don't mature at the same rate, so I'm kind of on the fence whether I should as soon as a few start go and harvest or let it go until they're all harvest or all um, ready. So I don't know which I'll do yet. I will see. Okay, right, that's the first load. So what we're gonna do now is maybe do a little bit of cultivating. Now, what am I saying? We're going to speed up time and we're going to see those trees grow and we'll be ready to cut them in a few minutes. So I'm just going to go down here and park the machines and grab the next one I'll need, which uh, I use that little Ursus tractor I was talking about. I'm going to put the chainsaw on that and the stump grinder. Hmm, actually there's not much point in that yet because I won't be able to cut the trees till. uh... It'll be a few days, so I'll be loading up more saplings before then. Yeah, we'll just go over there anyway, so then I'll be on site and I can look at the trees. So I'll put the toolbox, it's, it's wide, so I put it on the back and then I put the stump grinder on the front because it's just easier to drive into where the stump is when there's trees laying on the ground, if I've got it on the front. Pretty sure the PTO on this would handle the stump grinder, I wouldn't think it would be that intensive. The This tractor is 50 horsepower, I believe. I see you hiding back there, stump grinder. Now you see this little pile of rocks right here next to me? What a pain in the butt that's been. I keep hitting that thing. I'm, I think now I'm at the point where I know it's there and I'm always thinking about it so I don't hit it now. So I tested this map last night. I spent about six hours playing on this so far. So I did my first harvest and it's extremely hard to get a even that first Deutz harvester around. The, uh, the roads are just so narrow and uh, so I went up and I was doing uh, some harvesting and then I needed to unload the tipper and where do you unload the tipper? no idea I had to look around so finally I found it it's in here and I didn't have the map trigger um, and the door trigger script installed so the door wouldn't open press O to open once it shows you the icon okay then if it shows you the icon Well, okay then, it's not doing it properly right now. It should come up with a little icon there, and I press O, and the thing opens up, so I'll have to look at that. We don't need to worry about it right now, though. Oh, the little things when you're recording. I think this was the smallest tractor I could get that still had a beacon because I'll be doing a lot of driving around on the road. So the reason I'm bringing this over now is so I kind of have a tab point so I can come over and look at the trees to know how they're doing. 
So to tell if a tree is ready, mature and ready for harvesting, if you look at it, you'll see an orange spray paint blaze on it. So obviously it's not ready yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to speed up until tomorrow morning, which we'll, we'll then plant some more trees. So you'll see up in the top left it says left control and R. So that's how you speed up the time with this mod that I've installed. Put your seatbelt on, here we go. Oh, good morning. We'll go to 80. Don't like to start to work too early. Alright, so that's one day. You can see how much they've matured. Now, if you go on this on 120 speed, like the normal game high speed, you can actually see them. They slowly keep growing, but you'll see them kind of ticking as I go. Does this thing look neat? Can't wait to use this. Oh, I forgot to buy more um, more seedlings. We'll just buy them and deliver them here. It's a little easier. I will get a flatbed or something. Oh, look at all that's withered. I'll get a flatbed or something and then I can go and pick up a bunch, but I just want to get started here and, and show you the harvesting this episode. Alright, so I'll grab a load here. And there's that darn rock in the way. I'll show you the planting of this, and then I will probably pause it until we're ready to um, ready to harvest the trees. Otherwise, I won't get a harvest in this episode, and then I'll be sad. And you'll be sad. Well, I'll be sad, so we'll just do it the right way. Reminds me of my Boy Scout days planting Christmas trees. Not really, we did it all by hand with a pick in the middle of the woods. I don't have this down to a science yet. I, I'll take some practice, but I'll have the trees looking good in their rows eventually. But until then, we'll just have to derp along. One more tree. Okay, so now that that's done, I will pause the video and I'll resume when we've got something actually ready to cut. Okay, it's still the same day. I just went and did a bit of cultivating and I'm ready to plant, so I'm going to go another day. Hmm, I guess I have to be able to do it. So as you can see, we're really low on money. 
So we'll go to 8 a.m. the next day. Close enough. Just wanted to show you guys the trees growing, so I'll pause it again and plant this. And then we'll skip another day and we should be ready to plant, uh, to uh, start harvesting. So I just finished planting the third batch and I had this pop up. Now you'll see these pop ups occasionally. Uh, that is from the force mod, as you can see here. And it's talking about how many trees you can plant. Well, I, I've planted three packs here, which is enough for now, I guess. So I will speed her up and then we're good to go. So I'm actually going to skip two days. I've decided uh, the way I'm planting this is kind of kind of awkward. I mean, yeah, it looks kind of cool, but if this were real, what I would do is plant them right along the road because it's fairly flat. Um, that slope is going to be a bit of a pain with tree logs rolling down and that. So I'll think about it. Maybe I'll keep it this way, but maybe I'll do it the other way. We'll see. Okay, so let's skip ahead. Okay, bright and early next morning. No, we'll go another day. Okay, so what's that now? Four days? I don't know. So you can see some of them have a little orange blaze on them. That means it's ready to be harvested. This one looks like a Douglas fir. Uh, it's not ready to go. You don't see a blaze on it. So I could skip a day or else I'm going to have to skip some trees. I think I'll just go around the trees. I'll, I'll cut some today and then each day I'll, I can go along cutting more. See, if I did let it go another day, then I could, be, I could just go along cutting every single one which would then allow me to replant. So it's probably a better way to do it. Yeah, we'll go one more day. Alright, hopefully. Oh, come on. Yep, there we go. There's a blaze on it, so we'll just call it. I'm pretty sure they'll all be ready by now. So, uh, as far as the series goes, we're not going to be skipping like what I just did there, because I imagine you'll want to see some farming done too. So I'll break it up. It won't all be. It won't all be forestry, but I probably will just stick to this plot of land for a little bit. Okay, it's cotton time. So press O to take the chainsaw. And once I start it up, you can refuel it here. And you see the fuel on the, the right side. Hmm, let's move. Let me see, which way am I going to fall these trees? It's probably best to, to fall them this way and just keep them all going down this line. So a smart person would move the Ford Forces tractor, so I guess I better do that first. Let's pull this back out of the way.
and grab her saw and start cutting. Hold the rightmost button to turn it. Timber! That's a big tree. So we'll cut them up as we go. So this piece is called the butt. It's the bottom and it's it's millable. We only get about $500, I think, for that piece. Uh, the very top, I'll leave the brush on. Makes it easier to see. Now we'll cut one more. Uh, let's see how we're doing for time. This might go a little bit more in 30 minutes. I wonder how long till I drop a tree on my truck. Okay, almost on my tractor there. So you see that one wasn't nearly as big as the other one. This one almost looks like a spruce tree where the other one's fir. Pretty sure that other one is fir. I, I have Douglas firs on my property yet in real life and that's what it looks like. And this one could be a fir or a spruce, it's hard to tell. Okay, we'll, we'll just do two, uh, two trees for now because I want to show you the rest of this right now. So you see it says press X to uh, fill the fuel tank. So watch my money. Oop, cost a few bucks. Here, put the saw away. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grind up the stumps so I don't run over them when I'm trying to process the trees. So in the front of this thing is the stump grinder. And for some reason, it has a uh, the sound of a, a chainsaw, but it shouldn't. We'll just pretend we don't hear that. Now, uh, the, the tops and the butts they're not really that useful for anything but chipping and you saw the chipper was 230,000 so we don't have a chipper yet so I can leave the tops laying around the yard which would be a pain in the butt or I can just grind them up with the stump grinder I don't know if that was intended or not, but it works for me. That looks so cool. Alright, 
so we've shut down the stump grinder. Now the next step is uh, we need to load up some log. So we're going to park this. Oh, uh, let me see. Well, I get the trailer over here. I'll just pause it. Here we go in the, the old track vehicle. It's like I'm driving a light tank in World, uh, World of Tanks. Now in real life, uh, I guess this probably isn't heavy enough to destroy the uh, pavement, but if you go straight across it would do much less than if you turn them all on the pavement. And I should get a little shed and keep the thing over here so I never have to drive across the road. But anyway, so here we are. What we're going to do is load these logs onto the trailer. Oh boy. Just looking for where the butt of that tree is. I guess I should have left the stumps in because then I could see where the butts were. Need to get used to this. Uh, after using the Fort Shirt one on our Let's Play in Season 3, all the controls are backwards. Well, they're forwards now. Alright, so I put the stabilizers down. I don't know if you'd really use a stabilizer with a track vehicle like this. I don't think this thing is really that heavy, to be honest. Go to crane view. Now you see the icon over there? It shows a, a log now on the bottom right icon. That means it's locked on the log. I don't know how well this would work in real life. It would have the weight because uh, I use a backhoe for this in real life. And if you don't have those stabilizers down, it bounces everywhere. It's not a good thing. That's not too bad. Yeah, see this thing bouncing around a bit? We'll go in this view and then you won't notice it so much. If you're wondering how to open and close the the claw, you hold both your left and right mouse buttons. And then use up and down, like you move your mouse up and down. And to turn it, you hold them both and you go left to right to turn the... Uh, oh crap. Yeah, not a good time to demonstrate that. <laughs> okay, so Hitman's dead. Hitman has hit himself. After hours and hours of doing this, in uh, with no cameras going and everything worked fine, I turned the camera on. The first thing I do is drop a log on my head. I'm blaming allergies. Oops, I guess it's not on there all the way. Like I said, in real life, I do this in real life with a backhoe, and I, I don't even use a grapple. I use the back of the hoe with a chain on it. So I wrap a chain around the log, and then 
use the back of the hoe where I have another uh, hook on it. And you have to be really careful because that thing would be easy to tip over. I used to use 16 foot logs but I reduced it to 8 because my mill only handles 8 foot long logs anyway. And I am thinking about getting a GoPro so you'll actually be able to see that all that in action at some point. In the meantime you'll just have to be content to see me derping around with this thing. The uh, I was really surprised the in game, I guess, kind of one, uh, the um, proper skidding vehicle, that really works well. I was really impressed with it. I was expecting it to be derpy, but that thing is pretty solid. I was expecting it actually to be more like this. Alright, so now we're going to have to travel to get the other one, so we're actually going to go over, pick it up, and bring it back over here. Now you'll notice there's a hook on the front of the front loader. Um, it works okay, but I really wanted to use this instead. Press Z as in zebra to pop up the stabilizers on the bottom. Now what we're going to do is just come over here and pick this up and put it on the top. I don't know how useful this would be. I, like in real life, I would. This is probably the smallest I would mill on my electric sawmill. <laughs> I want to dare, but I forgot to put stabilizer down. Yeah, it's derped out now. It's, like I said, it's so strange that this happened now, now that I'm recording. And I did this all last night, no problem. Anyway, we shall pick this up. Uh, I'm going to, I think, pause it now after I grab a hold of this. Well, actually, after I put this one on. We're getting kind of near the episode, but I still want to show you delivery at the... Um, the sawmill because if you're you know you're watching this video and you're like you want to try it yourself you kind of need to know where the sawmill is so I will show that now the this track vehicle works much much easier with a steering wheel by the way doesn't spin all over the place all crazy. Yeah, look at this little tiny piece. It's embarrassing. See, that should probably be chipped, but oh well, we're going to see if we can get anything for it at the, wood, the uh, sawmill. Now normally I would load this, tip of this trailer right up. But we're not going to right now. So I will shut down this one. Okay, so away we go over to the sawmill where I will unload it into the sawmill. So this is this video is going to go a bit long. Um, I think I'll pause it on the trip there and just show you on the map where I am. Oh, actually, you'll want to see because it's it's actually when you're when you're trying to find your way around this map, the uh, it's not that easy. So I'll bring up the mini map. I don't need it anymore. I've traveled around enough. I don't really get lost now. There's two ways to get to the sawmill, so we're going to go one way, and then we'll show you the other way on a uh, different episode. I'm on external view in case I uh, lose one of these logs. It's un uh, unlikely. It seems to really lock the logs in well. I found with the, the black trailer, it, it they kind of slid off, but I think... I think that was because I was doing it without the ignition mod, so the tractor was not turned on. So I think if you have a tractor sitting there and running, it locks better. 
because it kind of simulates as if somebody's sitting there and keeping everything active. Look at all that wilted stuff. That's corn that's gone by. Somebody didn't harvest it. So the Ursus front loader travels a lot more uh, quickly than this one, and it's a much beefier machine. I can't wait to get to that. We'll get to it eventually, though. For now, we'll go along with the board. Look out, buddy. Jeez, what are you doing? Can't you see I'm logging here? Alright, we're almost there. About two-thirds of the way there. We're looking for... It's just northeast of field 30. A little road. So if we actually just stay on this road, we'll get there. The guy's weaving a bit. I can better be careful of him. Alright, so it says force mod there on the flag. That's how you know something. there's something here. So this is the sawmill. You'll, there's also, um, in another site, there's um, a chip storage. And I assume where that other chip storage is is probably where the, the biofuel place is. Or like the heater or whatever it is where you sell the chips for heat. We'll get to that eventually. This thing's struggling up the hill. Okay, there's the sawmill ahead of us. Now, you could park a tipper under here. You see the chute? There's going to be uh, wood chips coming out of there, but I don't have a tipper and I can't afford one right now, so... So, it will just go into a pile. I can scoop it up later. Now the fun begins. This actually, I'll probably be able to do this in one or two scoops, unless I have more problems. You know, with you watching me. I don't work as well when people are watching me. Hmm, that's weird. The trailer's kind of bouncing a bit. Like a pro. Yeah, right, like this thing would lift that in real life. Okay, so now what we're going to do, keep an eye on the cash, we're at $1,900. You can see it bouncing around, That's it, it does get more bouncy with more logs. There they go. Show me the money. Okay, one of the logs is stuck. I haven't seen that before. Oh, there it goes. Zoom, it's in. Wow, so we made about 8000 A little over $8,000 there. That's pretty nice. And that's from one tree, I think. So it's pretty lucrative. This is on normal difficulty. On easy, you get even more money if you just want to get on and mess around with it for a bit. And and of course on herd it's much more difficult. In retrospect that's probably what I should have done. 
But that's it for this episode. I've shown you how to plant the trees and harvest them and, and sell them. And grind up the stumps and stuff. Uh, eventually we'll get to the chipping, but for now that's, that's a little out of our price range. So I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a like if you did, and feel free to ask questions in the comments. I always respond, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.